In today's video, I'm going to show you how to save time by creating templates with media placeholders. This video is sponsored by Motion Array. I'm giving away three annual subscriptions. Leave a comment below on how you plan to use Motion Array, as well as fill out the entry form in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. <laughs> So what I've done is I've downloaded this Cartoon Rainbow Logo Opener Pack, and I have it open here inside of After Effects. And if you want to follow along with these exact project files, I've put a link just down below. We need to first add in our own logo to be able to make a media placeholder, for example, if we wanna change that in the future. So to do that, first we're gonna go up to Window and go to Essential Graphics. And this is gonna be the window that we're going to create our motion graphics template with the media placeholder. So the great thing about Motion Array is that the templates are really well organized. So already underneath edit comps, we can go in here and we can actually go down to image and change the logo placeholder. So I can double click to open this up. And now here's where I can place my gal logo, for example, I'm going to drag and drop it into the comp. And then I'll press S on my keyboard to scale this down into place. So now I can go back to the final comp. And as we scrub through, we can now see that my logo is a part of this animation. Now, what if we want to change this logo in the future? If we wanted to use this logo opener for a client video and not our own logo. So this is where we can make the gal logo a media placeholder. From primary, we need to choose the final comps as the main composition because that's the composition that's going to hold all of the different assets that we're going to add to this motion graphics template. So the first thing we're going to add is the logo. So go back to the logo placeholder comp and all we have to do is drag this PNG file into the essential graphics panel. And now this will become a placeholder that we can use in Premiere Pro. So here I'm going to type in logo placeholder. And as an optional thing, you can add in a scale and position parameter. So here, if we just toggle open the logo, we have position and scale that we can bring up here into essential graphics. And we can just call this logo position and logo scale. So now inside of Premiere Pro, we will be able to control the scale and the position of the logo. Another thing that's optional we can add a color fill to the logo. So here inside of my logo placeholder comp, you can see if I turn on the transparency grid, it's transparent behind my logo. It's just a white outline logo. So if you have an outline logo like myself, you can go to effects and you can search for fill and we can double click to apply it to our logo and it defaults to red, which we wanna change. So we can go up here and change it to white, but now we can take this effect. So when we select the Gal logo PNG from our comp, we can press E to bring up the effects, which is the fill and open that up. And now we can take this color and drag it up into the essential graphics. And this is now the fill color of our logo. So if we ever want to change the fill of our logo, we can change this to, for example, a light blue color. And look at that, it'll change the fill of the logo. So next I want to show you how to add even more controls to your motion graphics template, such as a footage placeholder, as well as text placeholders and checkbox controls. But first I'm Kelsey and welcome back to Gal. If this video is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe. And a special thanks to Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. If you're new to Motion Array, essentially it's a huge creative marketplace where you could subscribe to download unlimited number of assets from stock video, templates, music, and sound effects. But you might ask, what sets Motion Array apart from the competitors? Well, first they have a free plan. So you can go into their website and you can browse the free assets for templates, stock video, music, and sound effects, which other marketplaces don't have. They also have templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, they have motion graphics templates, and templates for Adobe Premiere Rush, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut Pro. If you're looking for some free assets, for example, templates, you can go to Adobe After Effects, and down here underneath Filter, you can check Free Assets, and all of these are free for you to use and download in any type of project that you want. If you go to Tools on their website, you can see that there's a Marketplace extension for Adobe. So if you use Premiere Pro, you can install this panel, and you can browse everything inside of Premiere Pro without having to go to the browser version of Motion Race. So you can install and use everything inside of Premiere Pro and it's
it's just faster. There's also a plugin section so you can install the plugin and access a bunch of different presets from chromatic aberrations, camera shakes, and a bunch more. They also have video collaboration. So if you work with clients or you need to share a video for feedback, it comes with 250 gigabytes of space so you can upload and share your video for time-coded feedback. And this is all within the Motion Array subscription. So if you're just getting started, why not try out the Motion Array free plan? You can sign up using my affiliate link below and it helps support the channel. All right, now let's go back into footage placeholders. It's the same thing as a media placeholder, but this time it's with video. So I've downloaded this stock video clip. It's a sunset of this gal taking a photo from Motion Array. And what I'm gonna do is open up the Logo 01 footage placeholder. And I'm going to drag this video inside of the comp. So what we can do here is make sure that it's fit. You can see it's a little bit bigger because it's a 4K video. So now I can scale it into place, scale it down, to the size that I want. And then just like before, I can take this movie file and drag it into the essential graphics panel and call this footage placeholder. So when we export this in Premiere Pro, which I'll show you at the end, you'll be able to replace this with any footage that you want. So now you can see we have the transparency and our logo with the footage. But what if you want the footage to be optional? What if you want the ability to turn this off? So go back to the footage placeholder. And what we can do now is go up to effects and search for checkbox control. And we can drag and drop this onto our video clip. And here underneath effects, we can open up checkbox control. Now we need to make the checkbox active. To do that, let's toggle open the video clip. And from transform, let's turn on expressions for opacity. So press the alt key if you're on a PC or the option key and click on the stopwatch. And then we have to take this pick whip and pick whip it to the checkbox. And then next to this expression, and we need to add the little asterisk multiply 100. So now it's off, it's transparent. If we turn it on, it's on. And we can actually drag this checkbox control into the central graphics panel. So now we can just call this turn on slash off. So we can turn the footage on or off if we want it to be transparent, which is a really cool feature to know how to do. All right, so next the text placeholders. From the project panel, there are two text layers. So let's double click to open up both of them. The first one is just our tagline we can change this to premiergal.com. And actually the second one here is the website and this is optional and I'm actually gonna turn it off because I don't want this. I just want one text layer. So now when we go back to our final comp, you can see we have Premier Gal, but something happened to the .com here. You can see that it's missing. Sometimes this happens with templates, so we have to investigate what's going on. So what we can do is we can actually double click on the Cartoon Rainbow Logo 01, double click to open this up, and then once again, double click to open this up. And then there's another comp inside of a comp. This is called pre-comping or nesting if you're familiar with Premiere Pro. Well, let's open up the CR01. So this mask is what's cutting off the text. So we need to move this mask over, press P, and move this over to reveal the text. And then we can scale this up a little bit. Now we can see the full URL. So sometimes you just have to go in and figure out maybe there's a mask here that's blocking part of the text. So how do we move that over? So now we want to be able to edit this text later on because what if we don't want it to be premiergal.com, we want it to be something else. So what we can do is just drag the text into the central graphics panel. But when we do that, we get a warning, it doesn't work. Well, that's because we have to use the source text instead. So you need to toggle open the text per parameter, go to the source text. And here we need to drag and drop it into essential graphics. So we can actually bring this down because I don't want it to be up at the top. And here we can just change this to edit text, whatever will be easier for the end user or you to understand later on. And if we make this a little bit wider, you'll see edit properties here. If you ever want to be able to change the font, change the font size and the faux styles, definitely check these on and press okay. So that way, inside of Premiere Pro, you'll be able to control that. I would also recommend adding in the position. So press P to change the position of the text, text position, as well as press S for the scale and bring in the scale as well. And last but not least, if you wanna add in the colors of the rainbow, you can do that as well. This template already has the colors built in here. So if we go to the final comp and open up our rainbow logo here and double click to open this up in the new pre-comped comp and double click to 
open this up, there's already a controls layer here. And if we open this up, you can see the transition colors are already here. So we can drag these colors inside of our essential graphics panel. And if you want, we can create a group and call this colors and we can place all the colors inside of this group for organizational purposes. So for all these transition colors that you see here, we can take this color fill and drag it into the essential graphics panel. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. A few moments later. There's also two text colors here. So we can also take these colors and drag them into the group as well. So that way you have the option to change the color of the text later on in Premiere Pro. So we added all of our parameters here inside of our essential graphics panel. Now we can give it a name, rainbow logo reveal. And also up here, this is the current thumbnail, but if you wanna customize the thumbnail, you can move the playhead to the location that you want. Let's say right here and set poster time. And now that is our new thumbnail that we will see inside of Premiere Pro. The next thing we can do is select export motion graphics template and hit save. So if you wanna share it with somebody else and email the Mogra to them, you can save it to your local drive and then attach it or upload it to Dropbox or Google Drive, or you can save it directly in your local templates folder, which is your central graphics panel in Premiere Pro. So let's do that and hit okay. And once it's done exporting, let's just give it a second. So now it's done exporting, so let's go into Premiere Pro. One tip, if you wanna keep the Mogra fairly small in size, you may want to re-export or transcode the footage that you attach as the media placeholder, so that way it doesn't take too long to load. So now inside of Premiere Pro, you can see it's right here immediately and let's drag and drop it into our sequence, keep existing settings. And now we can see it's playing back here at full resolution really nicely. And when we select it, now we have all those parameters that we customized ourselves. So if you wanna replace this logo, you can just click on the hamburger menu and select replace from finder or down here, you can choose different footage, replace from finder and make further customizations with the parameters that we added ourselves. If you wanna learn how to to add sound effects to your MoGrids, for example, or a secret panel that I recently discovered that allows you to better organize your MoGrids into folders, you can click right over here to watch those videos and you can click right over here to register for my upcoming live workshops. Thanks so much for watching and as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.